One of the most frequently disregarded and misunderstood coding principle by junior developers is the dry principle which stands for don't repeat yourself. Often seen as the direct opposite of wet, which stands for write everything twice, the dry principle is actually not completely about avoiding code duplication at all cost by using complex abstractions, but mostly about avoiding knowledge duplication. Even though it is commonly admitted that copy-pasting the same piece of code throughout an entire application is the best way to foster inconsistencies and mistakes, solely focusing on this aspect is actually a mistake as premature optimization attempts usually result in an increased complexity and code coupling. That being said, a better definition for dry would be the following one extracted from the book The Pragmatic Programmer that states that every piece of knowledge must have a single, unambiguous, authoritative representation within a system where a piece of knowledge is either a specific logic in a business domain or an algorithm. Let's now illustrate this with three examples that will give you a better idea of when refactoring should and should not be done according to context, starting with constants. Refactoring constants is probably the first thing that comes to mind when trying to apply the dry principle. Let's say we have the three following React components that are used to display text and that all use the same dark gray color code. In that context, if you were to decide on a different shade of gray tomorrow, you would have to manually replace every single occurrence of that color code, making sure not to forget any, which indeed requires a lot more focus and work than it should. The right approach would then be to create a new constant file named colors, for instance, that will contain the value of that color shade and that will represent the unique source of truth throughout the whole application, so that next time you want to update it, there's only one quick change to apply. Let's now consider the two following functions, edit post and delete post, which are respectively used to edit and delete a post on a blogging platform like Medium, for instance. As you can see here, the same verification logic used to check whether a user is allowed or not to perform these actions is duplicated in both functions, which causes two problems. The first one is that if the logic changes over time, it will have to be duplicated again, which may potentially introduce bugs if not done carefully. And the second one is that instead of solely doing what they're supposed to, which is updating and deleting, these functionalities have been given the responsibility of handling business logic outside of their scope. The appropriate thing to do would therefore be to extract this logic into a separate component, which will in turn free these functions from both these problems at once. Finally, let's assume that we are running an e-commerce platform that implements getAmount with VAT, which calculates the amount a customer will have to pay for an order, including VAT, and get late payment penalties, which calculates the penalty fee that will be applied on the bill if the customer doesn't pay on time. As both functions appear to share the same logic, you could be tempted to actually refactor the code by merging them into a single function called add percentage, for example, but in practice it turns out to be a really bad idea since these two functions don't actually share the same business domain. Indeed, if tomorrow you decided not only to apply a fixed fee for late payment, but a progressive one that would increase by 10% each week, you would have to split this add percentage function back again into two different ones in order to be able to implement your new logic and to get rid of the coupling you previously created. To conclude, try to remember that code duplication doesn't automatically imply a dry principle violation, but that knowledge duplication does. And that wraps it up for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to share, like, and comment this video if you enjoyed its content. And see you in a week for a new coding principle. Cheers.